leader in HD. This is 12 News at 5. Peoria babysitter once facing the death penalty has her case dismissed. Back in 2007, Lisa Randall was arrested in the death of a four-month-old uh, a little child that she was babysitting, but medical experts say it may have never been a homicide to begin with. Wendy Halloran has a closer look at the highly unusual case. A look of relief for babysitter Lisa Randall, who was facing the death penalty. This has really opened my eyes to the injustice. Um, you are guilty when you are accused until you can prove yourself innocent. Today, Maricopa County attorney Rick Romley dropped the charge against her after a review of death penalty cases. Romley questions why his predecessor, Andrew Thomas, sought the death penalty. Just from the information that I know, it should not have been sought in the very first place. Randall was charged with the death of four-month-old Dylan Utella. She was babysitting the toddler at her Peoria home in 2007 when she says she found him unresponsive. She says she started CPR and called 911. Dylan died one day later. He suffered massive brain swelling and a skull fracture, according to authorities. But evidence showed no external sign of injury to the infant's head. You didn't strike him or shake him? Never. Absolutely. Not any child. And medical experts couldn't come to any agreement as to the cause of Dylan's death. Randall's attorney, David Michael Cantor, sent Romley this letter calling the investigation by the Peoria Police faulty. A spokesman for the Peoria Police Department issued this statement. These cases are difficult for investigators. The detectives aren't looking at a smoking gun. They gather and evaluate the evidence they have. We respect the prosecutor's decision. It was was the ethical thing to do in light of the medical information received. Definitely. Lisa was the victim of a witch hunt. She'd spent seven months of her life in jail. She's lost her house. Uh, her marriage is, is falling apart, unfortunately. Randall's attorney is asking the judge to dismiss the case with prejudice. If granted, that means the case cannot be brought back to the courts. He says he may also file a civil lawsuit against the Peoria Police Department, the medical examiner, and the former prosecutor. I tried to reach Dylan Utella's parents today, but they have not returned my calls. Live in the Information Center, Wendy Halloran, 12 News.